Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were dealing with some upgrades around our house. Well, personal upgrades, upgrades to our equipment and whatnot. Uh, gave, uh, where is she? Serana, her new sword from her daddy. There you go. And made myself a set of Daedric armor. However, we're not going to enchant it until we get to a certain point. However, I just realized a while back, uh, when I tried to record this the first time, uh, <laughs> that uh, I have some Daedric hearts here that I can use to make my own set of Daedric armor before I have to move on to the other one. Now, you might say, Tom, what do you mean when you tried to record before? Uh, my uh, game capture was freaking the fuck out when I tried to record this earlier. The preview window was... You know, not cooperating with me, all that good stuff. Turns out, I uh, hadn't upgraded to the next uh, update for game capture yet. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Apparently, the uh, it was so far out of date that they went to 3.0. And I was at 2.41, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we were old. <laughs> and, uh... Had to get that fixed up. Which didn't take that long. It did not take that long at all, actually. So, uh... After we got updated, everything's looking good. It actually looks pretty cool on the uh, game capture window now. Uh... I wish I could show you guys, but I can't, really. Without, you know, a camera on it. Uh... Going to make up this set of armor real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm out of leather strips. Shit. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm overweight. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Come on. Pop this on. There we go. We'll need to upgrade this after the fact, once we get all of this done. Oh, jeez. Um, wolf pelt. Yeah, that ought to do it. A couple of those. There we go. But, uh, yeah, after we're getting all of this uh, upgraded, we are now good and golden for recording and whatnot, and a lot of the game audio things are now set differently, so it actually looks pretty damn good. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to Daedric and pop boots and gauntlet. There we go. I might, might, key phrase, make a Daedric greatsword. I might wait until Dragonbone. I might. I probably will. So, we'll probably do that. Anyway, I had to pop my headset to the other here, so apologies. Anyway, let's get those made up. Where are these? Where are these? Yeah, my carry weight is fucked right now. <laughs> I'm going to need to pop these where they're supposed to go. And where they're supposed to go is right over here. There we go. Activate mannequin. Put this... Yep, uh, I'm trying to memorize the enchantments because I'm going to need to enchant them after this. Uh, destruction and Magicka regen, uh, carrying capacity, and two-handed attacks. There we go. There we go, that looks good. And the mask will eventually go up there once we're done with the mask. Uh, which is funny because it looks like the mask <laughs> from the movie The Mask. Anyway, uh get these enchanted real quick before we leave and where we're going well i'll get to that in a second uh first we gotta enchant stuff do i have the proper soul gem that is the question the question that i will answer in a moment yes i do i have plenty i have plenty of black soul gems too we'll use those because you know it's daedric might as well right okay there we go that's good daedric boots is that going to be an issue? Nope. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> I wanted it to be an even, you know, or not even per se. Multiple by five. Multiple of five, rather. Uh, what can I do instead? Because I... Ooh. I can do that. I can do that. However, I already have stamina from the face mask, so I'd rather not. So... What do I do instead, then? Hmm. 
stamina regen. We can do that. Stamina, stamina regenerates 30% faster. That actually looks like it'd be pretty good. Let's do that instead. Now. Just because, you know, I'm a dork. Okay. And two-handed, 39% more damage. Holy shit, that's not great. Get that for damn sure. There we go. And now you can actually see my ring when I'm holding spells through this armor. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now I'm going to dump a few potions that I'm not going to use. There's a couple in particular. Uh, get those out of my pack. Uh, the filter for one, obviously. And, uh, yeah. The Enchanter's Elixir. My bad. I almost misspoke. Uh, just making sure I only have one of those, right? Yeah, I only have one. Could be. I was hoping for more. Anyway, let's uh, grab this so we can sell this later. That we could actually use. Uh, I'm going to grab the ones I'm not going to use because I can sell those later. Uh, poison of damage health. I might as well stock up on these considering I have so many of them. Uh, yeah, take half of them. And I'm just going to check everything else I have. I have a lot of minor healings and magicas and staminas. There we go. And I could sell these whenever I get to a store. Yeah, I could do that. Anyway, everything else is in order as far as I'm aware. Uh, I got some jewelry to sell as well from when we were making stuff to bump up our smithing faster. Enchanted those before I started recording. Uh, they're all basically the same enchantments of everything else. Uh, where were they? Yeah, they're the silver jeweled ones. Uh, carrying capacity basically because that's the most valuable one I have. Now, since we've basically done all our trading with Falkreath and they're pretty much out of money <laughs> at this point, I'm thinking I might want to move to another, or not move per se, uh, start trading with another hold that I'm Thane with, because, you know, might as well stick with, you know, wanting to help out the hold, I'm a hero for, yada yada yada, bullshit. And uh, then there's going to be a thing we're going to do at the end of this episode that requires a little traveling a bit, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna drink my soda while this loading screen's going, because goddamn. As soon as I said that. As soon as I fucking said that. Okay! Anything over here? No. No one's coming for me in either direction. Let's see if we, uh, can make anything real quick. Or smelt anything, rather. Nope. Nothing. Good. Good, 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 good. Now let's, uh,. Which one do I go to? I know I'm a Thane in Whiterun. Uh, would I be a Thane in Solitude because I helped the Empire? Maybe? Eh? I don't know. Uh, rather not go to Rift and Run yet. Run yet. There's a thing there. It, the thing is there, but I don't want to go there quite yet. Uh, Solitude. Let's just go to Solitude because, you know, for the Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For the Empire. That makes me want to play the Old Republic. <laughs> I don't know why. I cannot answer that question because I don't know how my own brain operates half the time. <laughs> One would think that'd be worrying. Not so much. No, not so much. What time is it anyway? I'm kind of curious. Oop. So to hit my rings on my table. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh! It's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Dragon rend. Did not expect them to be pulling this shit on me. Uh, fireball would probably be best, actually. Okay. Where's that dragon at? want to make sure it's not attacking anyone quite yet. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, jeez. Decided to land in there. Great. Fantastic. Now I'm screwed. I'm going to be able to get there in time. Oh, jeez. Man, what the... Come on. Let's melt. Let's melt. 
Disappeared. Watch this. And I'm gonna probably. grab all of this. Thank you. I don't care if you carry a great sword like that. But can you use it? You just saw me use it, buddy. Just saw me use it. You see the dragon skeleton who just walked through? That was what I used it on. Shut the fuck up. I don't even know what to say. Oh, now you don't know what to say. Oh, now you don't know what to say. Shut the fuck up. Right. I want you to carry Anything the dragon good? bones I just grabbed for me, please. Thank you. Uh, no, you don't say. Now they're really fucking attentive, aren't they? All right. Come on, take the dragon bones. Thank you. And the scales. Thank you very much, Serana. You are my life. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh jeez. Now everyone wants to take a look. The it's dragon like I just killed for their asses. Dragonborn. Oh my god. Oh, it's like you didn't even know I did the thing for you. Ah, uh, fucking stupid. Good luck. Baron! Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. Yep. But what can I help you with? Ah, uh, you could take, a, take look. a thing for me. I could sell you a thing. There's a thing I want to sell to you. Uh, like, these have no value. Why am I carrying these? Uh, steel arrow, you can take that off of me, and you can also take this dwarven sword with absorb health. Thank you. Alright, and there's nothing else I really want to sell to you. Return. I do want your workbench, though. I want that because my armor is needing an upgrade in that regard. I forgot to do that before I left. There we go. Brought it up to 92. Nice. Alright. Now, with all of that out of the way... Let us head down and sell stuff to his wife, who also happens to be the junk vendor, more or less. It's not really junk, it's more like general store, bits and pieces, basically, all of that. So, it's funny that he is the smithy for the entire town, and she's the general Take store. Take a good look around. Hey I'm there. sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I will. Beren said Simon. you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Oh yeah, so lovely. Uh, what have you got for sale? Some might call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. You can do that all you want. It doesn't make them any less junk half the time. Okay. I'm gonna see what you got. Extreme healing. Hello. I could use that. I can use these as well. Thank you. And let's see what else you got. Uh, Grundum or bleh. I can't speak English anymore. I will definitely take these lesser soul gems. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, huh. I might as well take the lock picks. You know what? Why not? Why not? They're right there. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna offload these on you. Maybe you can sell them to a traveler sometime. Who knows? Probably not gonna be me though. Let's sell you all the rings I got, which is quite a few of these. There we go. Uh, sell that. Yeesh, I ran through your stuff. Holy shit. Let's see what else you got that I can buy off of you. That I can use. I'm pretty sure I got the sneaking enchantment, though, so I don't need that. And there's not really that much else you have that I can want don't have that much. Ingredients. I could look through that. Uh, yeah, you don't have Dra uh, Daedra's heart. <laughs> that, that's the only other thing I want, really. Um, yeah, nothing there. Yeah, I think you've basically given me all I really need. Yeah, I think you've given me all I could want. Sorry to say, I'll, I'll sell one of my potions to you, though. One of these extra ones that I don't need shit for. Uh, poison. Lingering poison. Yeah, that'll work. The lingering poison. The poison for Cusco. Okay. Okay. Do I have anything else that I can sell you? No? Okay. 
We're good then. Come Thank back you, Simon. Some pieces in it. I will do that. All right. And I think I can sell the rest of my potions to the apothecary, which I have no idea where that is in this town. That'll be a little bit of a search, more or less. That might be fun. Well, about you and your Whoa! Words. Why are you in my face, buddy? I helped your ass. I kept you alive from a dragon. Got my face. Okay. Angeline's Aromatics. It was right across the street. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that shocked the fuck out of me. <laughs> Heard about you and your honeyed words. I do not need you in my face. So calm down. Okay. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Marard. Oh, so that one. Okay, thank you. You're a traveler, correct? Uh, yes. Have you been to White Run? Uh, yes, I actually have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. Uh huh. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. Oh. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't no. heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, uh, okay. I haven't met her, but I could get you more information, considering I am also in the Imperial Army, and I haven't heard about her. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Mm -hmm. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Not a problem at all. We'll uh, talk to him after I'm done with you. Ah, I so you're you an alchemist stuff. then? Well, more or less. It's a bit of a hobby. Kind of like you two. <laughs> okay. That's, uh... Yeah, sell this conjurer's rod. I don't really need that. Uh, you need the illusion one, the alteration one for sure. Defender and the warrior definitely don't need those. Uh, oh! Well, I've ran through your gold supply, huh? Well, let's see what I can buy from you that I can use. Uh, well, nothing really. <laughs> uh, you don't have any other real potions that I really want. Maybe if you have healing. Oh, you do! Well, in that case, I'm gonna buy most of these. I'm gonna buy that one for sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's basically all I want. I'll take one of these for good measure. I'll sell that. Uh, potent lingering poison for sure. Potent, potent poison. Uh, what else do we got that I can sell you? Uh, fortify carrying weight. That's actually pretty good. I want to keep that if I can help it. Uh, minor healing. Don't really need the minor healing potions anymore for any of these. So, might as well sell those off because they're useless to me now. Um, see what else I can get off of you. Uh, resist magic. I might give away most of those. Yeah, we'll call that good. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Um, true shot. Yeah, don't use bows that much. But at the same time, I do kind of use one in particular. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I do not need it. There we go. Okay, anything else that I can sell you? No, not really. Barrett's ashes. Oh, shit. That's the thing for Falkreath I needed to do. I think. Oh, fuck it up. Oh, fuck it up. That's something I should probably do. Sometime soon. I think some of my weight Don't may also be, uh, time uh... Ingredients, that's the word. I will not forget you, for sure. But I also need to do that thing for you. Uh... Where's Captain Aldous? I think he's in the little training yard outside of Castle Dower. I'm pretty sure. And we still need to do that thing. We still need to do that thing. One thing in particular. Okay, let's head upwards. There we go. Talk to Captain Aldous. Who I'm fairly certain is out in the yard. I saw him before. <laughs> Liking the view there, kids? Liking that view? Aldous! Yes? You were the one presiding over the execution? I don't even know that. Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. It's, it's Angeline, right? Generally posting information is need to know only. Well, considering I am, you know, higher above you in the uh, ranking system, I'm pretty sure I need to know. <laughs> well, I'm making it need to know. 
Okay, uh, I think Angela, Angeline deserves to know. I, I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Have you? The daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. Okay. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Yeah, they keep saying Angela, but it's Angeline. Oh wait, it's a little annoying. All right, that's sad, but that's to be expected. It's probably a while before the, uh, you know, actual fight for White Run happened. Okay, let's go talk to Angeline, get that dealt with, and then we'll head to Riften. Oops, that was supposed to be a surprise. And it wasn't a surprise at this point. I pretty much hinted at it, like, for the last few minutes. Okay. Let me know Angeline. if you see anything you like. Well, it's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't yeah. have happened to come from White Run, would you? Yeah, I have news about your daughter, actually. You got Aldous to tell you something. Yeah. I knew you would. What did he say? Uh, your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Sorry about that, but... It's better that you know, rather than have it, you know, hanging in the air and not know. At least now you can at least come to some sort of peace with it. Alright. Now we head to Riften. And start doing the thing that we have to do. Which, uh... Should not take too long. Hopefully. Uh... All the way this way. There we are. Head to Riften and we'll grab the thing. Ah, oh, man. Had to drink a soda there because the load screens can be long. And man, I'm just admiring the gameplay uh, preview window <laughs> a little too much. Alrighty. Now we're gonna get all of this out of the way real quick once we get there. And I'm gonna tell you what we're actually doing once we get there. There we are. Yep, there's a load of. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're going to go this way and take a left. The Temple of Mara! We're getting Visiting married! Hey! All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Yeah, yeah. I'm very well aware of that. Yeah, we're going to talk to Mara Mall and get a uh, amulet of Mara because, as much as I thought I had it, apparently I did not. So, we're going to do that. Grab one of those. Hey, Marmal! How may I help you, my son? I wanted to know more about the temple. Wonderful. Where to begin? Well, go with Mara what I already know. Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. Uh -huh. and we also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. That's what I'm interested in. I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Uh -huh. Life is hard and short, yeah. so there's little room for long courtship. That's probably true. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, hmm. showing they are available. I see. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Sounds good. I'll buy an amulet of Mara. Here you are. Now, remember... People in Skyrim respond to deeds. Mm -hmm. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Well, I have Good one luck. in particular that Mara I've already you. helped. But uh, we're going to do a little leave. thing in the next episode. We're going to leave that a secret for now. But we're going to do a thing in the next episode that should probably hint at who it is. Just a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much Good for afternoon. watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so 
<laughs> so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. I haven't been saying that full thing in a while. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat playing games for you.